Hey, this is Phantom with Guns of Boom, and I'm going to be doing a day uh, video today about just Quicksilver gameplay. So nothing other than Quicksilver, and I do have the Dark Stalker um, equipped, and also the Panther legs so to move a little faster. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm hoping it's not going to put me on a control point battle again, because last time that didn't go too well. And Quicksilver works for a for a sniping map like. Mexico Church isn't too bad. That's a good one. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, I think a lot of people want to see more Quicksilver gameplay and some of those other guns that aren't used as much. Some of them are quite good, but we just don't see a whole lot of them on, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. So hopefully this will show you why I like... Quicksilver. It's got a really nice fast firing rate and pretty good damage. The two things that are, are harder to deal with is the aiming. You just have to practice a lot with the aiming because it kind of it does have a little bit of a kick. And also the range is a little lower than some of the other guns. But another really good part of it, this is kind of funny, and I got him. Another good part of it is has it has a lot of uh, a lot of bullets. It's a large mag, so that is a plus definitely. And someone's probably gonna try and sneak up on me here. Hmm. Uh, so close, so close. But yeah, if you can see there, it kind of jumps around a little bit. So it just takes some practice to get control of that. But as soon as it comes into sight, it lets off a nice round like that, yeah. Almost use a shotgun there. <laughs> yeah, at close range it doesn't do as well, but for the sake of this video, I will try not to use any other weapons. As tempted as I may be. Uh, and, yep, another one of these. Sneak up on you like that. Ah, so close. So yeah, you gotta you gotta be careful with the aiming. It's easy to miss a bunch of rounds in a row. Oh, so close there. Oop. Just waiting for that guy to come back around. Whoa, kind of like healed there. Got him. Yep, look at that. Coming around and trying to catch off guard again. Wait for it. Got him. And here we go. So again, this gun doesn't work very well as a shotgun. Really, if you want to use this gun, especially late game, you really got to aim for the head. Make sure your Dark Stalker is equipped. And... There you go, like that. Just just keep firing, keep getting those headshots. And he's probably gonna get me again. That's okay. But yeah, the Panther works really well with this gun because you wanna be able to move around quickly, dodge other people. That wasn't me. <laughs> And here he comes again, the same guy. Ah, 
I'm not even going to try and capture the, the uh, spot with this gun. Well, the next time I think I'll probably do a video of pretty much all healing stuff. Uh, such as Life Stealer, Remedy, and uh, oh, here he comes again. Got him. And uh, let's see, the Hurricane, if you use it right, it can be somewhat effective at this level as well. Oh, he sh seriously? Wow. He, they're, they're like winning the match right now and they decided to use a rocket launcher just for fun or something. I don't Whatever. And here he comes again. And, oh, so close, so close. He got me right before I got him. That's okay. That was a good match, good match. But as you can see, it's probably better to use a variety of weapons. Um, I like to call it range. You know, if you're at close range, shotgun, knife. Oh, <laughs> only two people. If you're long range, use your sniper. Medium range, use your assault rifle. Uh, when it comes to machine guns, uh, those are... Just use those strategically. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe at some point we'll see some more Quicksilver videos because I think it's kind of a unsung hero. It's a great addition to your arsenal. So anyways, take care.